for a date. So what? I don't think that's technically called a date, no. Henry. Also, think, yeah. I've paid a lot less, so I think you're kind of getting <laughs> swindled. Maybe I should introduce you to some people. Oh, oh my no. God. How are you doing, Henry? <laughs> That's not really a fair assessment of what happened, okay? okay. Yes, that's, I right. feel like uh-huh. that's what people who are guilty always say. It was actually smooth. I don't want to know any of those details. <laughs> Just, Good thing it wasn't bumpy. Yeah, first of all, what's your date's name? <laughs> Her name's Tara. Tara, okay. And where did you meet Tara? So I met Tara at my dry cleaning place. Okay. okay. But there wasn't like an ad for her or anything, right? She wasn't standing outside at a seedy strip mall where your dry cleaner is and you're like, hey, I'll pay you a hundred bucks to go out with me. No, that's not what happened. So basically, she's the girl at the counter. Oh, okay. Oh, she works there. Okay. She's super pretty. She's always smiling and nice when I go in there. And I go in, I go in there a pretty good amount. Okay. Yeah, your shirts just keep getting more dirty and more dirty. Every day. Yeah. I, I, God, I got to go in there again. Yeah, it's crazy. Every single day I spill something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah weird. Wild. Okay, so you've seen her a bunch. And what made you finally get the nerve to ask her out? So I was looking for an opportunity, but, you know, it doesn't always pop up. But yeah. basically, a lady brought in six dresses while I was in there. Yeah. And, you know, the lady left. And I turned to Tara and I was like, I said, I'll give you $50 to wear one of those dresses out with me. What? Oh, <laughs> that's wow. a weird ask. Yeah, but it's a little bit baller, right? Uh, uh, it's like I a mean, proposition. Yeah. But then it's and also it's... strange to be like, that's the dress I want you in. <laughs> right. And it's also, I'm sure, breaking company policy. I mean, I hope they're not wearing other people's clothes <laughs> randomly. <laughs> you know, breaking company policy is kind of the whole point. You know, it's like a little dare. You know, then she gets to go out with me. Yeah, I dare you to wear a stranger's dirty clothes and come on a date with me. I think she'd clean them first before she wore it out. Did she take you up on it? Yeah, well, so then she was like, no, no way. There's no way you're going to do that. And I was like, a hundred bucks. Oh, okay. Wow. That's where the hundred dollars comes in. So she actually decided to do it for a hundred bucks? Yeah, she said, okay. Everyone has a price. Okay. It, yeah. <laughs> $100 so, was Tara's price. Wow. How was the date? Did she actually show up in somebody else's clothing? She actually did, and it was hilarious. Oh, my God. That's funny. I hope wow. it was actually a good-looking dress that fit her and not some, like, oversized yeah. 65-year-olds. <laughs> or super tight. Right. Like... She looked good. I know how to pick them. I know how to pick dresses. Oh, that's weird. That's okay. creepy. Not people. I don't know yeah. how to pick people, but dresses. <laughs> 10 out of 10. I know how to pick dresses, but I mean, I got to give her props, okay? Because it's pretty ballsy to actually do that, to actually take me up on that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So how was the actual date with her, though? So we went to a bar and classic date. Yeah. And honestly, it was great. Good. Okay. What was a highlight? First of all, she's funny. She was kind of like ripping on the bartender a little bit. (laughs) And it was fun. And, you know, she's like actually into sports which is not something you're always finding on dates, and I like sports. Totally. Anything really special about it or notable? I mean, she did keep talking about marriage. Whoa. <laughs> like how she wanted to get married or just marriage in general? Yeah, well, yeah, she just said, like, that marriage is really important to her and that she wants kids. Were like... you freaked out by that? You know, to be honest, I was not. Hey, that's a okay. good thing then. Well, and it's important to talk about it. I mean, not necessarily always on the first date, but this is my end goal in life. Yeah. So if you're not into it, let's not waste our time. Yeah, exactly. And just because, you know, I paid for this date doesn't mean I'm not taking it seriously. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> did you actually give her $100? Did you pay up? I actually gave her a $100 bill right when she got there. <laughs> and I was surprised she didn't run off, to be honest. <laughs> That's All right. awesome. Yeah, deal's done. That's Let's awesome. Well, how did the date end? Did you guys kiss? For 100 bucks, I would hope so, yeah. It's like not on the lips. You're right. making me seem so much creepier than I am. <laughs> I'm good no, at that. It's, it's a one funny of my special story. skills. But did you guys kiss at the end? We did. Okay. And report? What was it like? You know, was it wasn't super over the top, the most romantic thing in the world. But, you know, it was like five, ten seconds. Nice. nice okay. First date. Okay. And did you make plans to see each other again? Yeah, we were going to, like, text each other and figure out a, another time. Okay. Oh. And she's not texting you back now? We were texting. We were, like, going back and forth. And she was changing the time a lot. 
Hmm. And now she's not really responding. Uh-oh. I'm kind of worried about the dress part of it. What? Like that she got in trouble or something. Oh, yeah, because oh. she wasn't supposed to be doing that. Maybe you got her fired. Uh-oh. She got caught? So I'm worried that her boss fired her or something. Okay. But you, you haven't been back into the dry cleaner where she works. No, I'm terrified. Okay. <laughs> right. we'll, we'll play a song and then come back and call her and get your second date update, okay? All right, cool. Okay. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. I must be getting my clothes dry cleaned at the wrong place. Because I've never seen an attractive dry cleaner worker. It's usually like was, old dudes who uh, smell uh, like uh, smoke uh, still. No, we yeah. have old ladies at ours. And yeah. they look yeah. like smoke. And Henry's on the phone right now. He actually <laughs> met the girl that he wants to call today. She was working at the dry cleaner. I guess I didn't ask. Is she an old dude who smells like smoke? <laughs> no, she's not. Okay. Good. Cool. All right. Just wondering. Shocking. I mean, you do what you want. I just, you know, no I just want to get the right picture in my mind. But he met Tara at the dry cleaner. He actually dared her to meet up with him wearing somebody else's clothes from the dry cleaner. He paid her a hundred bucks. He bet her a hundred bucks. She wouldn't do it. She did it. They had a fun date. They even kissed at the end of the night. But now she's not responding to any of his text messages. So we're gonna see if we can find out why. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's do it. I want to figure this out. And you're worried that, I mean, the stunt that you guys pulled could have gotten her fired. Yeah, or like, you know, maybe now she's like, wants more money from me or something. <laughs> she's like, next time we go out, I'll wear something else for 250 Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to call her right now see if we can figure it out, okay? You ready? Yeah, let's do it. Here we go. Hello? Hi, is this Tara? Yeah. Hey, Tara, how are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. Oh, um, I'm sorry. I'm, never, I'm not familiar. Brook and Jubal in the Morning is a radio show? Oh, okay. Um, probably still not familiar, huh? No. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> yeah. think so. Um, I'm calling you today because we got an email about you from somebody who listens to our show. Um, okay. His name is Henry. Henry? Yeah. You remember him? Yeah. Why did he talk to you about me? I'm sorry. I'm really confused. <laughs> well, we do a segment on our show called The Second Date Update. That's where if you go out on a date with someone and then you don't want to see him again, they can email us to get you on the phone and find out what happened. And Henry told us about your date. He told us how you dared you 100 bucks to put on some dress from somebody else from the dry cleaner and meet up with him. And you did it. And he thought everything went well. But now you're not getting back to him. And he's confused. Okay, so he just told you all of this without checking in with me, if he could just share this personal information? I suppose he would have checked in with you if you were answering him, but yeah. <laughs> unfortunately you're not. So yeah, he did tell us that, though. Did he tell you, like, the name of where I work and all of my personal information? No, no, no. no, no. All no. we know is you're Tara and that you're at a dry cleaner. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. And it sounded like a fun night. Like, it sounded like, I don't know, a funny way to meet somebody and go out on a date. I mean, I think he's a really good guy, but now, like... You can't just tell someone on a public radio or whatever that I'm stealing from my work. Okay. That's like a really right. shitty thing to do to someone. Right. Well, you're anonymous, though. We don't know anything about you other than your name. Okay. And the fact that you wore a dress that wasn't yours on a date. That's it. And if you think of it this way, if you've never heard of our radio show, I'm guessing nobody at your work has also heard of us. So <laughs> you're probably in the clear. Okay, well, I hope so. I mean, I don't know. Oh, you're fine. Can you tell us a little bit about your date? Did you have fun? Um, the date was really good. I had a good time. Um, good. What else do you need to know? I mean, just basically, why don't you want to see him again? Yeah. I mean, I I just think looking back on that night, it was. I'm really grateful for that experience. It was really fun, but it kind of changed everything for me. Changed, changed everything? everything? That's a bold statement. I know. What do you mean by that? <laughs> well, one, I, like, I wasn't even going to do it, but then something in me was like, no one will notice, just take the dress. Oh, you're, you're talking okay. about the bet about whether or not you'd wear the dress. You, you weren't going to do it at first. Yeah, he told you about that, right? Oh, I got it. Now you're a kleptomaniac. You're selling all <laughs> kinds of things. No, I really, honestly, <laughs> that I really never do stuff like that. Then I put it on, and then when I was looking in the mirror, I was like, oh, Damn, I look good. And like, I never. <laughs> That's awesome. I really don't try at my appearance so much. I mean, I take showers and like, I shave my legs, <laughs> but it's not okay. like anything over the top. Right. It's just not a priority for you. No, no. But then after I put that dress on, it just totally changed the game for me. And I oh. 
was like suddenly people that I never would have like hit on or they wouldn't hit on me. Like they were just like noticing me. And Whoa. after the day I actually wore it more. And when I was out with just friends, <laughs> people were just like asking me out left and right. And what? I, yeah. So the dress that you took from the dry cleaner, you actually like it a lot. Uh, no, I love it, and I'm never giving it back. I, oh, my God. <laughs> no! I feel like it has this magic power, and all of these guys that I would think were way out of my league wouldn't even dream or fantasize about kissing are suddenly like, I'm trying to get them off of me. Oh, my wow. God. I want to know what this dress looks like. I want to wear the dress. It has a good cut. It has a good cut. <laughs> are you in the dress right now while we're on the phone with you? <laughs> no, but it's very close by. <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. So you just want to go out and date. You don't want to be tied down to one person. Yeah, I mean kind of. I've never really done this before of like just dating a lot of people and like Plus you can't date somebody for a long time cuz they're going to know you only got one dress. So <laughs> <laughs> But I'm meeting people that are so much more attractive than like Henry or anyone that I've ever been on one date uh, with. <laughs> Okay, that's that the, that's what it is then. That was honest. Because of that dress you've been dating up. I feel bad for saying it, but yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Well, okay. I feel bad well, for not saying this earlier, yeah. but Henry's actually on the other line listening and wants to talk to you. Ouch. What? Are you serious? Yeah. yeah. He, yeah. he heard that. Wait, Henry? No. Henry? You all right, buddy? Yeah. I, I'm here. Ouch. How you feeling right now? Tara, are you serious? Are you making this up? I... I mean, no, but I'm sorry. I didn't know you were on the phone. I, I, I'm just kind of being honest right now. Are they really better looking than me? Really? <laughs> oh. I find that pretty hard to believe, okay? I'm a very good looking guy. I have clean suits that I wear. Oh. I know. I clean them. <laughs> she's not saying that you're ugly, Henry, at all. She didn't say that. No. She's saying that she's upgraded from ugly to good looking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she did say that. No, wait, that's not exactly <laughs> what she said. I did not say that. I did not say that. Well, what did you say then? Because that's sure what it sounded like. <laughs> I was just saying that there's people that are don't usually notice me, and they're noticing me now. And and they're better looking than Henry. You said those <laughs> exact words. I didn't mean to sound harsh. Tara, it is not your fault. Henry, you're the one that called, and you knew that the truth could be a little harsh. And you're like, the one that told her to wear that dress. Exactly. If anything, Tara should be thanking you. Honestly, yeah. thank you. I, I, it's really, <laughs> it really has changed my life, and I, I really appreciate it. I'm, I'm sorry I didn't intend for it to happen this way. Stop, please. Okay, I, <laughs> I cannot, I cannot believe the dress I picked out turned out to be a magic dress. Well, Henry, you said earlier that you know how to pick dresses, and apparently oh, you do, you man. Did. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you don't need to be dating. You need to be a stylist. Honestly, a little. You kind of owe me, to be honest. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. What do you mean I owe you? I don't understand. I mean, because I gave you $100 and you were able to change your life. <laughs> well, I mean, yes, before meeting you, I was $100 less than what I am now. But honestly, the dress, it's, it's changed me. And I, I really feel like I'm a new person now. And I, I do have you to thank for that. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying, okay? You know, you're Cinderella. And I was into you when you still live with all of your ugly stepsisters. <laughs> I'm the guy you stay with in the movie. I'm the good guy, okay? <laughs> All right, well, Tara, would you like to go out with Henry on a second date? We'll pay for it. Um, I've got a better idea, actually. As you know, I work at a dry cleaner, uh -huh. and there's actually the suit that just came in the other day, and it's so nice. I mean, what? like all the other suits on the rack are jealous of it. Uh -huh. So I was thinking maybe that could do for you what you did for me with telling me to wear that dress and wearing that suit could make other people start to notice you more wait what so are you asking him out on a date if he wears the suit i'm confused yeah definitely not i'm not really interested in that oh. but i will steal this suit for him so that i can pay him back oh my god okay <laughs> Henry, oh what do you think about that? No date, but she'll you steal see? a suit for you. If you're not going to go on a date with me, fine. I'll take a free suit. <laughs> okay. Wow. Wow. All right, oh well, my God. I, I think this kind of worked out. Like, yeah. you, you didn't get a date out of it, but free clothes. you got some new clothes, man. Yeah. That's not bad. You know, dating's freaking weird these days, guys. I'll, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> All right, well.
<laughs> now you get to date a new suit. That's hey, awesome. Congrats. <laughs> yeah. You're going to look so good in this suit, Henry. Trust me. You're going to get like sixes and sevens. Wow. You're like Henry, sixes, sixes and, seven. and sevens headed your way. Wow. I'll take it. <laughs> Broken Jubal in the morning.